Hey again, it's Rachel from The Life Facilitator, and um, I'm gonna flip through my November catch-all planner. Um, for October, I was in um, the Passion Planner inside a uh, Webster's Pages color or composition folio planner thing. Um, and for November, I am using um, Lights Planner Action uh, weekly inserts and an Inkle Press monthly insert inside Filofax executive size notebook. Um, and just a note, um, if you're new and this is the first video of mine you've seen, um, I am auditioning planners for the rest of 2019. So that come 2020, um, I am sort of as close as possible in the in one planner or two planner systems, a main catch-all planner system, and then like an on-the-go planner um, for the year. Um, and will that actually happen? I don't know, but but we're trying it out. So um, it makes trying out different planners really fun, calling it an audition. So we are auditioning this setup for, um, for November. And I should mention, so, um, one reason I am drawn to the notebooks is because they feel like a bound book, which I'm, I'm more and more enjoying and wanting and like preferring, um, but with the flexibility of like a disc bound system. So like you can take these out. Um, so that's, that's nice. Um, so yeah, so here's my um, like front cover dashboard. This uh, dashboard is from Coco Daisy, and I have it just, I literally just have it adhered to cardstock, white cardstock, and then um, made a little outline with it. And then another Coco Daisy dashboard. Um, this page is for brain dumping and just general, gotta get it out, brain dump, yeah, okay. Um, all right, so um, in the front, I have a bunch of like monthly tracking type things before at the front of the planner because this is something that is like a priority for me this month and so um, yeah so I have my Coco Daisy challenge um, uh, printout and what I've done over here is added like have I added have I posted to Instagram and have I posted to Facebook and then um, you know do that for the rest of the month my trackers, I'm tracking exercise. Ooh, wait, hold on. I did exercise today, so let's add that one. Um, as you can see, this month was off to a rough start with exercise, but that's fine. Um, and then my, Co my Coco Daisy team, like creative team posts, and then it, posts that are not creative team related, just sort of personal posts. Um, okay, so that's that. And then um, I have done a bunch of stamping um, to match the Coco Daisy kit this month, so that partly to like get myself back into stamping. I love stamps and I love using them, and I often forget to use them, so I thought this might help the process. All right, here's my monthly, um, and I have a um, clear, just it's just laminate sheet. Um, and just a tab on top. Um, punched with the arc punch. Do not punch laminate with the happy planner punch. It will not work. Um, so I punched this with the arc punch. And then this is what my month looks like. So, um, I, and, and these are Inkwell Press monthly inserts and um, I'm, I'm in love with them. Um, and I used a bunch of the printables on the top um, to because the Inkwell Press theme, color theme didn't really go, and so um, I just covered it. And then, yeah, did a little bit of decorating, and I love how it turns out. Can we just talk about the little Simons this month? Oh, I don't have them near me. Um, I, I can't even. And I love using Simon to, to, to mark things for my husband, because he has glasses like that, and um, he's a professor, so I feel like this one in particular makes him look like, Simon looks like a little professor. Anyway, love this. I, I should also mention I am like 
obsessed with the Memphis season Coco Daisy kit this month with all of its like graphic elements and paint slatters and just oh my gosh I'm I'm just in love it's I I honestly think I mean I don't, I feel like I say this every month but I feel like this is one of my this is definitely one of my favorite kits like for sure um the colors everything oh it's so pretty it's just such a fun um take on fall because for someone who doesn't actually see fall in Miami um this is this makes me really happy um, so yeah, I did end up doing some, um, stamping, um, in on the pages, which I really like. It looks like it's like part of the page, which is really fun. So yeah, so that's my monthly. And then we go into the weeklies. So, um, this, this is a happy planner dashboard that I did trim a little bit and and punched the holes a little more because they were a little tight um, and so that is breaking up the week and then here's what my first week looks like I am using um, lights planner action um, inserts for the month and um, I'm I love I'm using them for the whole month um, because I, I really like them. I love the grid. Um, I always thought I really liked lined inserts, but I think what I really like is grid um, because I like being it. Yeah, I just, I, I really like the grid. Anywho, um, so I have this week um, planned out. Next week is still pretty open. And yeah, for the rest of the month, that's what I have. Um, an insane amount of sticky notes because I oh these are the sticky notes from this month's kit and I'm I mean could it get any cuter like that's the cutest thing ever um, and I have the sticky notes over this dashboard that came with uh, the Coco Daisy kit as well um, and I love that it has like you know things to do people to see and so I have the um, sticky notes like sort of matching with the, those different sections so I like that um, and then the back is just notes and then um, some like chore lists because you know sometimes I forget like oh right I should probably declutter um, anyway I have the like the uh, planner sticker kit and I have it in the back pocket here and I did make um, a really basic pocket and I just made this out of the actual packaging that this came in laminated it and then trimmed off the top it did start to I, I cut it too close so I did have to like reinforce it with uh, clear tape but I was like oh man that's this works really well um, and so yeah so those are living in the back here and yeah so that's my setup this is my sort of main catch-all, sort of everything goes in this planner. Um, and I'm excited for to try it out for the month and see how it goes. Um, so if you have any questions, please uh, leave them down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!